Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have another perfume review for you guys. In this review, we're going to be looking at two perfumes from the house of Le Gazelle Parfum, Excess and Excess Le Bois. Um, I would have brought you guys this review a long time ago, but there were some performance issues that I needed to iron out before doing the review. So let's begin. Excess Gold opens fresh, sweet, citrusy, herbal and woody with green aromatic accords kicking in after 15 minutes as the woods become wet, ashy and mossy. In the far dry down, it turns into this smoky, ashy woods and amber concussion with minimal sweetness. For those of you that have been watching my perfumes for a long time, you already know that perfume tends to last a really, really long time on my skin. Like, my skin just pops when it comes to perfumes. But this was giving me five hours, and even that five hours is me stretching it. This did not last at all. Five, six hours, and it is completely gone. I tried it on bare skin using the simple moisturizer. It was still giving me five to six hours but when i tried uh, what's it called the boiler sand sunscreen the one that has that whole coconut was it called coconut fragrance in it i was getting 12 hours plus with the perfume now it's been over one month of owning this and right now i'm happy to say that this gives me 12 hours on skin so should in case you get this and it is not performing to your expectation do let it sit for like a month or two months just keep spraying it and let it sit for like a month or two months and Hopefully, things will change for you. Like I said, 12 hours plus is what I'm getting from this perfume right now. Moving on. Excess Le Bois opens with the sweet smell of chocolate, patchouli, rum, and oud, reminiscent of Wafa and Gaia Be a Legend, mixed with midnight oud. All three perfumes from the house of Arb al Zafaran. The perfume becomes a bit powdery with the oud gaining dominance after 30 minutes as the chocolate dies down. Around this time, I also begin to get a powdery balsamic ambry note that reminds me of my Tom Ford Amber Absolute perfume oil. I have to admit that when I first got this perfume oil, this Tom Ford Amber Absolute perfume oil, I struggled a lot with it. The weather was quite hot back then, so I think that was what maybe probably influenced it. But right now, I'm enjoying this. It's giving sweet, chocolatey, balsamic amber mixed with wood. It is such a beautiful scent, and I hope to enjoy it for the next three months before Hamatan departs. Anyway, back to what's it called, Excess Le Bois by Le Gazelle Parfum. After like eight hours there about, the dry down smells um, like this sweet balsamic ambry scent with smoky wood and flashes of patchouli. Longevity on skin is 12 hours plus with a projection of up to one feet for like two hours there about. If you love the aforementioned perfumes, that is um, Wafa by Ada Zafaran, Midnight Wood by Ada Zafaran, and Gaia Be a Legend by the same brand, you would definitely love this scent. So, that has been my review of Excess and Excess Le Bois by Le Gazelle Parfums. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, don't forget to please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.